Mad Scientist, welcome back to another video. So I just finished this beautiful 3D printer cabinet right here. And this is made out of maple and I kind of made a stain, mixed my own stain that made it look kind of like um, walnut. Um, it took me a solid week to build. And uh, there's some shells in here for storage. And uh, it's enclosed with polycarbonate and the acrylic on the sides. So uh, this is really awesome. It traps a lot of the heat and smell in this thing. Run about 85 degrees when printing in PLA. And this is my new 3D printer right here. This is the original Prusa i3 MK3. This is an awesome printer. This is pretty much all around a better printer than my last printer, but my last printer was a lot older, it's like three years older than this, and it's come a long way since then. Um, not that my old one was a bad printer. Um, in fact, it could print pretty good stuff. Um, but this this thing prints crazy stuff. For example, this without any, you know, my last printer would have had to have supports and rafts and all kinds of stuff um, to print this chain mail here. This thing just cranks it out, no problem. Um, yeah, I, I just love this thing. So the reason for this video is they're coming out with studies. Um, I'll link to them in the description, the ones I've read, and uh, they produce formaldehyde, which is what's in smoke when you when people smoke um, they produce some very small particulates which can get into your lungs and your bloodstream um, I'm sh I'm, obviously the formaldehyde is not almost probably almost negligible and I'm sure you know one time or every now and then exposure uh, is not gonna hurt you obviously that's my opinion but uh, you know the reason I'm doing this is because this is down in my basement this is where I sleep this is where I do all, a lot of my stuff, spend most of my day, I do school, everything, and I just don't want to be printing ABS 24-7 and then just breathing that in. Um, that's probably where it's going to hurt you if you're affected by it. I mean, of course, that's my opinion. Um, so, you know, not, not medical advice. But yeah, so what I'm going to do to solve this problem First, I built the enclosure, which was the first major step um, in kind of keeping the smell and the poisonous stuff away. I mean, when I say poisonous, there are no poisons, only poisonous doses. Um, so, I mean, <laughs> I'm not like a wor one of those people that's always worried about everything. But, I mean, if I'm down here all the time, I may as well just make a filter for it. So what I did is I went on the internet and I bought me some supplies. Uh, this is a centrifugal fan here. Um, this moves some pretty good air. Um, I'm hoping that's enough pressure to suck through these uh, these things. Um, these are organic vapor formaldehyde and P100 uh, filter cartridges for your respirator. They kind of if you ever seen your respirator, they kind of go on and they, they twist on and latch. So that per, that should cover everything I've talked about so far. Um, the P100 filters are considered HEPA, um, if you're wondering. So I, I believe that's believe that's check for yourself and always check the data sheets on your particular type, um, just to make sure you're okay. Um, but yeah, these should get most of the bad stuff out and the air in here should be completely scentless supposing this whole rig works perfectly. The plan is to print something that goes around here and adapts this to these so I can clip them on and replace them uh, whenever I want after the manufacturer's recommended amount of time. Um, It'll just go on here with some bolts or some pegs and some hot glue to seal it. And uh, hopefully this should work out really well. And uh, this is version one, go.
it took me three tries to get it right. I printed two test pieces uh, to get the whole line right. Made a third one that is functional. I can't believe I got it on the third try. Uh, pretty nifty, but it just goes right on there. And uh, it feels just like putting on the regular one. And uh, see here, if it's right on that. And so what the plan is, I mean it's pretty self-explanatory, but um, I'm just going to put a rule over a hot glue around to seal it, and uh, then I'll put bolts on it. I only did one because the putting two on, it's just um, you couldn't fit the input of both of these inside this. I would have had to make some sort of geometry that would have been like crazy and hard to print. So what I did is I just did a flat geometry and then uh, just a single filter just for ease of printing. Um, obviously it would have more airflow if I had used two. Anyway, uh, basically, I mean, I'm sure you can figure this out yourself, but uh, just put a small ring of hot glue and this is just to help seal it, keep the air out. I don't have to use a lot, try not to get any hot glue strings into the fan. And then take it, get your bolts. Um, I have just some 10 by 8, number 10 by 32, rather. Make sure to get your bolts in there so it's all lined up correctly. So, really simple, just put it on, lock it in there, you can hear it sucking through, and you feel it, and this, if it's running while your printer is printing, I think it, it would be plenty sufficient. Uh, clear out the air. At least it's going to help a lot. So yeah, I'll put all the links in the description. Um, so they, some of them will probably going to be affiliate links if I can get some. Um, if you use those, I'd appreciate it. It gives me a small kickback. Um, and it just gives me money for the channel. And uh, yeah, see if I can get Amazon to accept me. They rejected me last time I applied, and I only had like 30 subscribers then, so now I have 140 or so, so maybe I'll be able to get it now. I do, uh, I am affiliated with Banggood, and that's like a Amazon kind of clone, I want to say. Um, but they're, they're pretty good. I actually have a review coming. From them, they sent me a uh, power supply, so that's coming up soon. I'm just really vigorously testing it, uh, making some iron oxide powder, and uh, we got this all done here. And now I'm gonna fasten it to my enclosure. But yeah, they've been really good. Um, I've made a decent amount of money. Uh, I'm not enough to cover my projects, but uh, certainly helps out. So yeah. Uh, this I'll be doing a review of the power supply pretty soon. I've been able to do a lot of stuff uh, over Christmas break here. And uh, yep, let's see. I'm gonna wind this back. That looks better. I'll do that instead. I want it near the top because the air coming off of this is going to be hot. It's gonna rise. And I want this to be able to pick it up and cycle it around. So, uh, yep. It'll filter out, push it back down. Hopefully, we get some sort of uh, air current moving. moving. Just gonna eyeball it. Make sure that's level. Yep, that's good enough for me. Oops, I'm sorry, you can't see it.
Alright, it's not bad on the nose. Um, it's definitely not quiet, but it's uh, not annoying. And I have to talk over it just fine. And once I close this up, I will go here. Yeah, that's pretty good. So, I'm going to run a test print here of ABS, and if I smell it, then it was a failure. If, it, if I don't smell anything, then it was a success. So, I don't know. Yes, sir. Alright, here we are about 48 hours later, and I've printed a few things. Uh, first off is this scooter ski here. This was printed in black ABS, and uh, this is a pretty ambitious print. For ABS, that should have been printed in PETG, it'd look better. Then this vase here was printed in uh, some green Solutech ABS, and this is an absolutely perfect print. That turned out mm, so good. And then I have some GoPro mounts here for time lapses. All this ABS printing, and I could not smell a thing. That worked absolutely perfectly. It just works so well. It's totally worth like the $50. When these finished printing, I waited like two minutes for it to clear out. And uh, I opened the doors, and I it was the, the this whole enclosure was scentless, and that's even filtering out the the smell of the finish, the polyurethane finish uh, I put on the cabinet. So uh, it was completely scentless. I'm so happy with that, and that was well worth my time of designing and printing that. So if you decide to build this yourself. All the links will be in the description. I'll also make an instructable. Uh, you can go check that out. Maybe get some additional information or tips on how to build this thing. So yeah, um, go ahead and subscribe and give this video a like. Uh, I have some really cool stuff coming up and you don't want to miss that. So uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.